In this video we're going to take a look at the timber frame construction uh, of, of the head and sill detail. So to start off with here I'm just showing a picture of the forward sill which is different to our concrete built and uh, the angle in it isn't quite as steep either, it's about 10 degrees. Uh, in the workbook we have some detail here which is not correct. You see the timber fr or the frame of the window is actually out past the inside of the outer leaf which just would not work so the pages are highlighted there as well where it is in the, the textbook and I'm just going to show a few details here there's ties to the sheeting material and um, the, um, the, co the covering the breather membrane which is on the outside and um, a few sizes are being put in here as well just uh, so when we put them in and are drawn you will see those So the stud is 150 by 50 and uh, where we're going to have our openings, uh, you can see here the vapour check is on the inside, uh, breather mem membranes on the outside and you can see a window placed in here, it's not a terribly obvious but there's um, cavity closures around those, those blue lines that you see on the breather membrane show where the studs are so that the uh, ties can be fitted onto the sheeting material. and. Um, then it's the same story with the door, you've got a cavity barrier which is really a piece of 2x2 two two, which just goes right around that 50 by 50 millimeters. and you can see here the frame in the correct position with the vertical DPC and the DPC at the top, the step DPC which you would have in your concrete built as well and uh, that's just not right in the, in the workbook or actually in the textbook either and it shows the DPC placed around the, the sill, the forward sill here at the bottom with the cavity closure as well and we have sizes here I've changed one of the, two of these sizes the 70 I've made the 75 and the 45 I've made the 50 uh, it's just for convenience when we're drawing here and I zoomed into a little bit of the detail around the um, the sill you can see in the line of the window frame here it's in the correct position it doesn't pass the front edge of the inside of the outer leaf now this is going to go through it pretty quick but the sizes are all written in here for the setup and the lines of the wall uh, inner scale of 1 is to 5 so you can pause this and go back and check out those sizes vertical lines I've given sizes on the right hand side here as well too so that um, you can get, it gives you a guide for where to set the thing up on the page for drawing and uh, I go about drawing the sill to the sizes that I've shown before I'm just comparing where we have in the concrete built the 15 degrees it's roughly about 10 degrees in this here in the continent uh, you'll often see as well that there's no um, no concrete cells used, it's, uh, they're actually like aluminium plates that are used so there, there's less of a, a, a bridge here to, or, or less of a thermal bridge. Uh, so in the setup here uh, I have, I'm have i starting with my sill and the outer leaf of the block. It could be brick that's on the outside as well so uh, in this case I'm just going with block. The X shows the end of the timber and it's uh, the stud uh, is placed there at 150 and I've got the um, the, the sheath, sheeting material which is on the inside here which I've allowed as 9mm so that's only uh, in our scale of 1 to 5 of 2mm in that there and um, the insulation placed in which is quilt insulation I'm going for similar sizes to what I used in the concrete built uh, with the, 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 the casement window so it's uh, put in at 175 I think it is by 75 I have it written on the page here you can zoom into that there to get, get a look at the size that's placed on that there and um, the casement then is a 75 by 75 the only difference in this one that I've made is actually where I have a little bit of an edge going down which will be a seal on the outside of the frame so just looking at the head here and uh, it's gone through it a little bit too quick maybe but um, I'm drawing a, a concrete lintel here if it wasn't uh, if it was brick you might have legs of a boot lintel or could be an alternative to that there I've got three um, lintels at the top here there could be a, a plate placed at the bottom of that there or a filling piece and I've drawn in my step DPC there is a little bit of detail where the breather membrane is uh, placed down over the top of the DPC 
it overlaps it. Uh, you'll notice it on the ink or the pen piece. And um, again, uh, the the details of the window frame are similar to what I used in the concrete build. And just that lining of it, where it does not go past the inside of the external leaf, so that you can put your DPC into that there, which is for some reason is incorrect in the in the book. And uh, our air tightness tape, uh, I have to use the same color here because I'm running out of colors. Uh, I used the green for the breather membrane and I used the green for the, um, the vapor check on the inside, which was shown at the earlier detail there, which is just really looks like a clear plastic. And I've put in a service cavity as well here. Now the service cavity could be increased in size from what I've done. I've, I've left it as only 30 millimeters. It could be increased to 50 millimeters. And um, just make sure you put in all your guidelines again and you can pause this at any stage and take a look at uh, the different details that are in here. I put in the sizes along with those. Move a little off screen here to the right. Uh, other details as well too, is like the crosshatch details your um, window board is wood, the concrete and the sill and it's quite noticeably a different shape and size of sill for the timber frame construction. And spacings of the wall ties uh, are shown here. Uh, basically they match the height of a block and uh, then you're looking at one and a half times the block really when they're running across the way. And another thing that's not really drawn in here and much easier to see in a brick of a timber frame construction. Also indicated in the drawing are the placement of vents to prevent condensation. 